It's all about size in Australia. No doubt about it, large-sized drone racing is coming in one way or another. Now, here's a manned one that's pitched up on Kickstarter. A louder, I'm not sure if that's right. It's an it's a Australian startup from Sydney. They've created a flying car, if you will. And what I like, I don't normally normally talk about Kickstarters or crowdfunding drone projects because they are normally dreadful and they normally fail. I really like, though, that these guys have admitted to the mistakes they've made so far along the journey. And that's very cool. I like that. It shows a little bit of realism. And I also quite like that they've they've taken an old car body. Um, they say in the Kickstarter, we wanted people to look at the curves of the Mark I and instantly know that it was a flying race car, invoking a passion for sport unlike any other. To achieve this, we've taken the body from an old 1960s Formula V car and retrofitted it onto our low-cost test airframe, hinting to a golden age of motorsport being reborn into a modern world. That's very clever. I like that. That's very clever indeed. This has been up on Kickstarter for a couple of days, and so far they've raised $3,250 of their $75,699 US dollar goal. And that uh, that number's got to be an Australian dollar that works out into funny numbers in America, in American, hasn't it? So what's an airspeeder, you ask? Well, after two years of development in a secret location in Sydney, Alauda is revealing the Airspeeder Mark I, a new class of airborne racing vehicle unlike anything else that has come before it. The world has been talking about flying cars for years. We decided it was time to stop talking and start building. We got this far, but now we need your help. With you, we can build a sport. We can get others building competitive cars and a whole new world of agile transport will develop. It's a nice goal and they've started and that's good. They've put down a bit of their own cash buying motors and sorting out this prototype. So so they're serious about it and I like, once again, I like that they've they've shown the mistakes to date. So tell me below in the comments, what are your thoughts? Is this just utter nonsense? Will this fall apart and fail? Are they going about it the right way, going on to Kickstarter to help raise money? I do worry about that a little bit, again, because of the the bad name that uh, Kickstarter and such have got so like subscribe do whatever else you need to do on youtube and don't forget to join us at 2100 every tuesday for drone stuff this week where i'll hope to get one of the team on board uh that or onto that for one of the shows or if not if we can't manage that then perhaps we'll have them on a standalone show of their own i would like to hear a lot more about this thanks for watching bye bye